Fear of the unknown is the biggest fear of all. Well, that's what the rock climber Yvonne Chowin, Chowin, Chowinard thought, and I thought about it. To solve my thief issue, I was going to have to create a camera, and that's what I did. A camera that moved with the player, so now I was going to know everything that happens to my loot. But how do we build one? Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> Okay, to build one of these, all we're going to need is just these items right here. We're going to need a lever, an armor stand, command blocks, anvil, and two different name tags, a wither skeleton skull, and an ender pearl. Now, the wither skeleton skull can be modified later on in the video. You will see when. But um, first things first, we're going to go ahead and just grab everything out right now. If you guys do not know how to get your own command block, because as you guys can already tell, it is not inside of the creative menu just go to slash give at self and then type in command block with an underscore and then you should get one like that and then what you want to do is you want to go to a corner i'm going to go to the left and then i'm going to place a lever at any point that you guys want i'm going to place it like right here two blocks above like that and then we're just going to give ourselves a little bit a little hole right here Make it a little deep. Three blocks down would be fine. And then place four command blocks like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place down our anvil and name both of these and name both of these name tags. One of them is going to be camera because it will be better to label them rather than doing a unique, the unique name as before. So we'll just leave this one as camera. And then we'll have this one as lens. That way now we now that way when we put in the commands right here we can tell which one is going to be camera which one's going to be lens rather than a and or a z whatever other thing that you want so then we're just going to place on an armor stance and then we're just going to put on the wither skeleton head as for the body of the camera and then an ender pearl is going to be kind of like the lens for it you can name this one camera and this will be lens and then we're just going to go ahead and change its position to two you can do that by just shifting and right clicking twice and that way this will be kind of in the same inside of like kind of like the same place as the head so then it will come and look like a camera head and then what we're going to do is now we're going to go into the commands right here and then what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and put in our first our first Oh, that's that's not right. <laughs> that's not right at all. Hold up. Just break that. We're just gonna put in our first commands right here. And here is the command. The first one is going to be TP at E name camera. As you can tell, the camera. If you have put in a different name, they just replace this area right here. Um, 3.75 facing facing player. That way. In that way and also um, change this as repeat and always active so it will continuously teleport it at that same area that way it does not fall down and as you can see it needs to teleport here as you can see it's kind of it's fo uh, following the player it's following the player nicely and because we put it at 3.75 which is going to be like right here right above the commands we're going to at 3.75 blocks high because you can kind of tell, like, see, there's one, two, and the three, and this is the 7.5. And that's where it puts it there. And then we're just going to have another command right here for the lens. So we're going to have at, we're going to have TP at entity name is lens. If you change the lens into some other name, then you want to change this. 0 0.13 facing player. Have this as repeat to make sure that it keeps teleporting up there and always active and there we go now we should have something like this and then if it's not centered like it is right here then what we can do is we can go ahead and go to this one right here and then change this to negative 0.1 that is just because we are on the left side if we were on the right side over there it would have faced a lot better but because we're on the left side we're just going to put it as negative and there we go. Now it's a little bit more centered, as you guys can see. A bit more centered for the camera. 
but this but as you can probably tell this is still um kind of annoying to see the armor stands so we're just gonna go over here add in our third command and it's gonna be slash effect at e name camera invisibility one one true and there we go we're gonna have that as repeat and always active and that should turn one of them invisible and then we'll go ahead and put in the final command here as effect at entity name lens invisibility one one true put that a repeat and always active so it continuously um, turn it invisible and as you can see it looks a lot like a camera it looks a lot of cameras kind of floating off there but I mean it from a from a further distance it does look like a camera is following you and if you guys want to you guys can move it so then it can it can become a little bit closer if you want if not that's fine so look at this what what happens to sheep what happened to the sheep bro it's just gone into the back wait is the sheep up here hold up what did you do is the sheep up here invisible give me that name tag that you have right there Yep, yeah, you've been- you just- <laughs> Bro, why? I just asked. Why? <laughs> Alright, and now we're back. I fixed it, and now we have our camera again. As you can see, it's looking pretty nice, pretty nice. And now the last thing that we just gotta do is just cover up the hole. And, and for all this annoying- for all this annoying chat uh, annoying outputs right here we can fix that by slash by slash game rule command block output and change that bad boy to false and there we go it should stop it should stop all the all the text and so now if i were to say hi it would actually show hi right there and it'll all disappear in a moment come on hurry up and disappear there we go now the output is stopped and it, that should have reduced a bunch of lag right now because of that and now we can and now we have a working camera one more thing that you guys can do is you can actually change the head and body of this by just breaking it with your fist there place down two new ones and you can put on any other head that you guys virtually want or and or if you want an end i've ender instead then you can and make kind of like a zombified one and there you go now you have like a different color camera where you can choose a different one like i kind of like this rather than this one maybe or you could kind of choose a skeleton skull and a regular pearl change make sure that the armor stands are at two and camera lens and it'll just go like that and you can just have cool looking you can just have different cool custom cameras and now you guys can get a bonus build right here just so then it can be it can be compatible with your little camera right here you can make a, a good old custom desk you can make your own custom desk right here by grabbing these items and what we can do is we can just go ahead and just go three in the middle like this and then on the ones on the side we can just go ahead and replace it then it can make this cool little look right here this cool little look right here and then we can go ahead and finish up the sides like that well maybe this one should be smooth actually there we go yeah smooth looks a lot nicer and with and with this and now with this you can actually go ahead and make some barrels onto the side like that make a little make a little computer a computer um mouse keyboard a little something that looks like it would work for security put some iron trap doors on the side just so then it can match when you put that thing right there so now you have this little security lever for no good reason and then we can have some camera screens we can have some camera screens by using a loom, two banners, two banners, one light blue, one gray, 
a light blue die and a gray die and what we can do is in this exact order we can have we can have um the first one which is going to be the which is going to be the light blue banner put in two dies have it as his default order and then put a line in the middle to make like a cool little screen like a cool little screen and if you guys want to make it even taller as you can probably tell this is not very good looking for like a for a double one is actually kind of weird to see so we can go ahead and fix that with the second banner that we have here and just put in a gray banner like that put this as put this as this one over here so half of it is half of it is blue and then add in your last two gray dies to make a to make a border and add a line in the middle just to shorten it out just a tiny bit more and so now when you break oh when you break these you can have like a half screen and then add to the top like that and it just wouldn't look as weird anymore and you can make it look kind of like a tall one and if you want to do it again just add more of the bottom ones like this and just add more to the top and you can make a taller one and then for the chair just a simple just a simple slab slab sign sign and door and then there we go we have a good old office well not an office a security desk right here and now if my camera stalled there is no way that he's gonna sneak past me and steal my loot in this time That's odd. All my cameras seem to shut down. Oh my gosh! No, wait. We can speak about this. We can talk about this. We can talk about this. No, no. We can. We can talk about this. We can talk. No, we can talk. <laughs>